Hi everyone, I'm Tim Lancaster with Grassworks InstaTurf. We are a St. Louis based manufacturer of uh, AstroTurf based products. We've been in the area for over 30 years uh, making AstroTurf based products for various industries. And last year we introduced the InstaTurf product line. Um, it was actually launched at the 2019 IECA conference, annual conference. And this was the first step of uh, Grassworks into the erosion control industry. Uh, we are a gold sponsor of the conference this year, of the uh, IECA Great Connections Conference. And I'd like to welcome you to our virtual uh, exhibit. So the InstaTurf products are simulated turf-based products. And these materials are different from your conventional turf reinforcement mats and high performance turf reinforcement mats. And that uh, we actually have uh, developed a new category for the products called instant armor mats. And what makes these products different from your conventional TRMs and HP TRMs is that they provide a very high level of erosion protection uh, just as soon as they are installed. In fact, when these products are put down, they give you immediate erosion protection that's equivalent to a very large rock riprap. Uh, basically, they have erosion resistance that's three to four times that of uh, your conventional TRMs and HP TRMs in an unvegetated state. And I think of the products as kind of a hybrid vegetative armoring system. So you, you basically have simulated turf that protects establishes and then permanently reinforces natural vegetation. So there are two products in the lineup. Uh, one is the Shear Force 10. It comes in roll form. It's, on, it's in the picture to the left and uh, comes in roll form much like your conventional TRMs do. Uh, this product is basically installed like a conventional TRM as well. Then the other product is the Shear Force 12, which comes in panel form. That's what you see to the right. And uh, those panels are three foot by four foot and weigh about 30 pounds a piece. So the Shear Force 10 is what we call a hybrid turf instant armor mat. And this product is basically a one inch thick uh, UV stabilized polyethylene monolithic structure and what I mean by monolithic is it's molded into one piece. So when this goes through the, comes out of the extruder, it's basically one piece. It's not stitched or any way glued together. And then on the back or bottom side of the turf is a very lightweight polyester geotextile. And that fabric has been specifically engineered to not only allow vegetation growth up through it, but also to trap fine soil particles. Uh, this product comes in roll form, like I mentioned, the rolls are either three foot wide or six foot wide, and those rolls are 45 feet in length. The three foot wide rolls weigh about 50 pounds a piece, and the six foot wide rolls weigh approximately 100 pounds. Uh, the product's installed just like your conventional TRMs, uh, you're typically going to seed first and then install the mat over the top of the seed and then the vegetation grows up through the simulated turf. Uh, typical installation is done with an 8 inch wire, a sod staple, uh, sometimes fabric pins or rebar stakes are used as well depending on the type. And once the vegetation grows up through the mat, uh, they're real easy to maintain. You can simply just mow right over the top of the uh, the simulated turf. So the way this product works, there's basically three mechanisms at play here. Uh, one is the simulated turf itself. Uh, the turf blades are, uh, I wouldn't say they're rigid, uh, they're fairly pliable, but uh, they do stick up and they do provide some resistance to flow. And what that does is basically create a shear plane above the fabric in the soil and you've got those blades that are basically deflecting a lot of that erosive force that would often get down to the, the soil and cause erosion and scour. And then the fabric 
uh, basically provides two functions. And one is it acts as a filter fabric. So it's basically uh, preventing fine soil particles from, from uh, being washed up or pulled up out of the turf and uh, just filtering those, those uh, soil particles and keeping them in place. And then the fabric also, once it gets wet, and specifically when you've got a clay soil, uh, those fibers actually adhere to the soil particles and, and adhere to the soil surface. So it kind of locks the, uh, the soil particles and, and uh, surface in place. So with that, I want to give you uh, uh, or show you a couple of videos that we did on these products or for these products. Uh, the first video covers the performance testing that we've done uh, using the ASTM D6460 uh, channel liner testing protocol. And then I'll follow that up with another video that uh, shows some of the field trials that we had done. And uh, what we try to do is back up our laboratory testing with uh, field trials to confirm how they're going to actually function uh, in typical applications. So here we go and enjoy. Storms are getting stronger and floods more frequent. Can your project really afford to wait on vegetation establishment for effective erosion protection? Grassworks introduces the revolutionary InstaTurf High Flow Erosion Control products. The first and only soft armor turf reinforcement mats, which provide the same level of erosion protection as large rock riprap and concrete blocks from day one of installation. InstaTurf products make it possible to use vegetation for protecting high flow channels riverbanks, shorelines, and levees without worrying about that big storm hitting before the vegetation becomes well established. So just how much flow can InstaTurf products handle? InstaTurf's erosion control turf reinforcement mats were put through intense ASTM D6460 large channel testing performed at DRI Environmental's Denver Downs Research Facility to determine their unvegetated effectiveness from day one of installation. Each product was installed in three separate 20% gradient, two-foot-wide channel flumes on loam soils and immediately subjected to four consecutive half-hour flow events. Maximum flow discharges of up to 50 cubic feet per second and generating average shear forces well over 10 pounds per square foot and flow velocities exceeding 20 feet per second. These extreme test levels are typically reserved for fully vegetated TRMs, rock riprap, and concrete blocks. Soil loss measurements were taken throughout the test. Total cumulative soil loss was averaged and gauged against the ASTM D6460 cumulative soil loss failure criteria of one half inch. Unvegetated shear force 10 and shear force 12 passed the test with room to spare, with average total cumulative soil loss of only 0.1 to 0.2 inches. Both unvegetated shear force products withstood the maximum attainable flow discharge, outperforming other previously tested fully vegetated TRMs, InstaTurf shear force products, the performance of reinforced turf from day one. You no longer need to wait for vegetation in order to attain maximum high-performance erosion protection from a TRM. So that video covered the testing that we've done on the products and this video will show a, an actual field trial of the product used in a channel lining application.
So that field trial was a, uh, it was actually a, a test for the Shear Force 10 product on a Peabody coal mine site. And they were actually looking at using the product in place of a lot of the rock riprap that they use for uh, various channel lining applications and outfall protection. And on this uh, test site where we installed the Shear Force 10, as you can see in this picture here, they had, uh, and several rock riprap check dams along the length of this channel. And this installation was done uh, in the fall of 2019. And uh, the picture you see here was taken May of 2020. But over the winter months, a lot of the rock riprap check dams had completely blown out. And the green section you see there, that is the Shear Force 10 section that uh, vegetated very nicely over the fall and, and uh, through the winter months and in the spring. But uh, you can see the rock riprap check dam just downstream from that had, had uh, really taken a beating over the winter and a lot of the rocks had actually washed out of the check dam. And then you can also see the, the big scour hole right at the end of our test section. And that was a control section there where just uh, loose straw and seed was applied uh, without any of the Shear Force 10 product. So when you're comparing these products uh, versus rock riprap and the uh, performance of rock riprap and channel lining applications specifically, uh, this chart gives you permissible shear stress ratings of various materials in pounds per square foot. If you look to the left there, you'll see your conventional turf reinforcement mats unvegetated typically have permissible shear stress ratings uh, ranging anywhere from two pounds per square foot up to four pounds per square foot. Once they become vegetated, that number increases dramatically, uh, typically around 12 pounds per square foot or greater, depending on the type of TRM. The Shear Force 10 Instant Armor Mat, on the other hand, unvegetated, actually starts out at 12 pounds per square foot, and that's without vegetation. Uh, once the product becomes fully vegetated, that number is expected to jump up to around 16 pounds per square foot. So if you're comparing performance of these products uh, to rock riprap, and obviously rock riprap is at its maximum level of protection as soon as it's installed, uh, you'll see the Shear Force 10 product at 12 pounds per square foot, unvegetated, first day of installation, is gonna give you similar protection as a 30 inch rock rip rat. So one of the questions I often get with these products is cost. And I put this uh, chart together, it's kind of a hierarchy of uh, both soft and hard, hard armor uh, materials used for channel lining applications. Uh, to the left there, you'll see uh, projected shear stress or, or uh, different uh, ranges of shear stress depending on the application. And you'll see at the bottom there, we start out with your typical erosion control blankets or ECBs. Uh, they typically cap out at about two pounds per square foot of shear stress. Uh, then the TRMs and HP TRMs uh, kind of fill that range of uh, application range of shear stresses from two to four pounds per square foot. And the cost of those products, uh, your conventional TRMs, HP TRMs, uh, there's a pretty wide range there, anywhere from 70 cents per square foot installed to 225 per square foot installed. And uh, depending on the type of, of, of uh, TRM or HP TRM, and also the uh, specific specifics of the installation. And then from four pounds all the way up to 12 pounds per square foot, uh, the Shear Force 10 Instant Armor Mat kind of fills that niche. And you'll see the cost of the product uh, typically ranges anywhere from 225 to 250 uh, per square foot, which is just at or a little above uh, what you'll pay for a high performance or, or several high performance TRMs. 
And then above that, you get into your concrete-based products, which are the, the uh, tied concrete block mats, or TCBMs, or the articulated, articulated concrete blocks. But you'll see the Shear Force 10 Instant Armor Mat fills that uh, niche rather nicely and uh, gives you a wide range of applications for the product. And uh, it also can be done at uh, much lower cost than the uh, concrete-based products you'll see there in the blue. Typical applications for the products are your high-flow channels, uh, very steep slopes with a lot of runoff coming from above, uh, culvert outfalls, downshoot areas, um, shoreline applications. Uh, one application, good application for the products is overwinter protection for projects uh, where you know it's going to be several months before you get vegetation growth. Uh, this product can give you that high level of protection without the vegetation. And then also in areas where vegetation may be slow to establish or may be sparse even after it establishes. So areas uh, where you have arid climates, uh, maybe shady areas where vegetation growth is going to take, uh, is going to be slow and take time to establish, or areas where you just have poor soils or, or wet soils to contend with. The other product is the Shear Force 12, which is the Instant Armor Scour Mat. And the only difference between this product and the Shear Force 10 is that with the Shear Force 12, we add a half inch rubber core between the simulated turf and the fabric backing. And that rubber core adds weight and ballast to the material for use in more turbulent flow areas. Uh, this product is about 1.7 inches thick, comes in a three foot by four foot, 30 pound panel. And that panel itself or the rubber core has one and a half inch holes in it to allow for vegetation growth up through the panel. Uh, this product is similar to some of the other scour transition mats on the market, except other scour transition mats typically require some form of underlay, an erosion control underlay like a turf reinforcement mat or sod. And with this product, you don't need that. You simply, simply seed first and then install the panel over the top of the seed and soil, and then the vegetation grows up through the inch and a half holes. So there's no separate uh, TRM or sod underlay, which obviously is going to save some time in installation as well as material cost. Uh, the product is typically installed with a 12 inch wire staple or rebar stake. Uh, sometimes earth anchors are used uh, if you're going into a very loose sandy soil or a muck type soil. And then once the panels vegetate, you can simply mow right over the top of them. A uh, typical application for the product are culvert pipe outfall areas, areas where you have a lot of uh, turbulence in the flow or expect a lot of turbulence in the flow. And these products provide a very high level of erosion protection as soon as they're installed, even without vegetation. That's basically equivalent to a 36 inch diameter rock. Typical applications include the high discharge culvert outfalls, pipe outfalls, uh, other flow transition areas. Um, one of the applications that uh, I see more and more is uh, these curb cuts from parking lots where they typically just dump rock. And uh, this product could provide uh, a great alternative to using rock in those areas. I have a picture, a couple pictures of that here in a minute. Uh, another application we're starting to see, which is uh, a little more atypical, but uh, we're starting to see more use of the product is in uh, basically acting as a splash pad on building downspouts. So uh, commercial buildings as well as residential homes, uh, they're basically installing a panel or a section of panel at the uh, end of the downspout to prevent erosion in those areas. And then once the panel vegetates, the homeowner or whoever is maintaining the landscape of the, bu of the building can simply just mow right over the top of it. Culvert pipe outfalls are probably the most popular or common application for the product today. Uh, this was an outfall that uh, was done. You see the picture to the left was right after the panels were installed. Picture in the middle was uh, about 30 days after installation. You can start to see some of the, 
the uh, young vegetation growing up through the mat. And then the picture to the right was taken uh, the following spring. This was a fall installation. So picture to the right was taken the following spring. And you can see the mats were uh, fully vegetated at that point. And then I mentioned the curb cuts where they typically just dump a pile of rock at the end of the concrete chute. And uh, what often happens there is the water ends up running around the rock and you'll start getting erosion around the rock. And this becomes a maintenance issue. You know, someone has to be out there mowing the vegetation around the rocks. A lot of times they just spray it to kill the grass. And when they do, that also adds to the erosion problem with the flow running around the rocks. So, and uh, these things typically will collect a lot of trash and also have a lot of weed growth. So they just, uh, they can become very uh, unsightly fairly quickly. Uh, whereas they could use a couple panels of the Shear Force 12 product at the end of those shoots and uh, basically stabilize that area. And then once they vegetate, the, the uh, landscape person can simply just bow a right over the top of it. So if you'd like uh, some more detailed information on these products, as well as a, a history of turf reinforcement mat technology and the development of the hybrid turf instant armor mats. Uh, I do have an educational session that uh, is uh, online this week and uh, please check that out. And then if you would like further information about the products, have any questions, uh, would like to schedule a lunch and learn with me or my distributor, uh, please contact me directly at the contact information that is on your screen. And you can also visit us at www.insta-turf.com. And uh, we are actually in the process of revamping our website, which uh, should be online in early August. But until then, all of our detailed uh, information on the products, uh, design information, specifications, uh, installation guides is all out there. So I'd like to thank you for your time today. If you have any questions, uh, please contact me.